Welcome guys in another new video. Today I want to let you know how to lose weight. Uh, no, just kidding. <laughs> Okay guys, the video that I'm going to do today, I'm going to do it with this camera right here. I have a GoPro session attached to the, my Chesix hat, so I'm gonna put it on my head so you can see directly from my, from my point of view what I'm doing. Everything we are going to do today is inside this box right here. So let's check it out. Let's open the box. So we have a Gemfan set of prop, these are the shoe blade prop. The Flash series 5152 shoe clear. Obi-Win fly controller. Obi-Win 41 ESC. Four Obi-Win motors that are the 2205G2 2600KV. 2.5mm screwdriver. 2mm screwdriver. Tape. Scissors. A U normal USB cable, mini USB cable for your Samsung, for example, device. A 4S battery, I'm using the 1300 mAh 4S50C 100C battery. A frame like this one, this is the XBT190, this is my favorite frame. A soldering iron, I'm using this one because it's very small and I can use it with the 4S batteries. A receiver, in this case I'm using the Furious FPV receiver, LR100 I think, or LR1000. And I am also using four arms to make this quad as a square in order to make it more rigid and that's it what I want to do with you today is to take out of the box all the obi wing parts so I want to take out of the box the flight controller the 41 ESCs and the motor put them on the quad plug also the receiver put the props and fly so we're gonna do all the setup and fly so let's start First of all, in order to start the tutorial, we need to open the, the frame in order to work on it. Okay, the first thing we are going to do is to put the four motors, to screw up the four motors in the, in the frame. Alright, I mounted the motors on the quad, so now we are going to put the 4-in-1 inside. So we are going to take the 4-in-1. So this is the unboxing of the 41 of Hobby Wing. This runs BLLES D Shot 600, 40 amp 5S. This is a really, really cool ESC for your quadcopter. So let's go and see what there is in the box. So when you open it, you have first of all the 41 in top, and in the bottom you can find the condenser that is really useful, the cable with already connected the XT60. And all the wires that you need if you are running if you're running another fly controller. If you're running, for example, clean fly, beta fly, whatever. So uh, we don't need these ones. And I explain you why right now. This is a very interesting thing. The reason is is because if you're using a Obi Wing fly controller, as you can see right here, you have some pins that go perfectly inside the 41 ESC. So basically, that's it. When you plug the true fly, the fly controller to the 41 ESC is like this, you don't have to do anything else, it's already done. So you have all the connection done, you don't need any extra wires. The only wire that you need are the motor wires and the wire for the battery. So let's go first and put the 41 on here. To do it, I put plastic bolts in the bottom, the plastic nuts in the bottom, and then this plastic thing again on. All right. Now, I think the wires are a little bit too long in order to stay like this. So I'm thinking about cutting them a little bit. All right. Now we're gonna solder the motors to the four in one. All right. So now we can also cut this one. Then, you have to turn on your soldering iron. I'm using this battery to turn it on. I use 400 degrees in Celsius. Alright. 
this is done. So now we are going to put the flight controller on. So we're gonna take the nuts out. Rem remember to put always minimum in the bottom or ring of rubber to avoid vibration to the flight controller. You put this one down, you put the nut back. Done. Now we are gonna uh, put a little bit of tape in order to lock the wires down to the frame. There you go, look how clean is this. And this is already done. So now we're gonna connect the receiver and put the condenser and then it's done. So here we have ground in these two ports. I'm gonna choose the last one. Then we have five volts or 3.3. And then here we have the Wart 3. Now it's really done. All right, just to try it, we are gonna put some tape on the receiver so we don't have to put that one on. Remember just to try. So now we are gonna put the props on. Oops. So surely, totally, entirely friendsonized. Let's be something more than Fred. What, best friend? No, something more than that. Make a best friend? Yeah, sure, why not? It's really interesting, the gem fan has always these stickers in the, in the props. I have all of them attached on my table that I have at home. So all my table is getting full of these ones. Wait, before putting the props on, remember, it's always better to do not put props on before doing the setup. So let's do the setup first. To do the setup, I hear my MacBook that I'm gonna turn on. I'm gonna open beta, beta flight, connect USB. All right, now you will see how easy it is to set up this model. You plug the USB, the green light turn on, the software see your quad, you connect it. So you have to do ports, Wart 3 Serial RX and Serial RX from Wart 1, take it off. Save and reboot. Then connect again, go to configuration, set the X quad, then I use B-Shot 600 for these motors. I put the minimum throttle up to 1085, as bus is already right. Then I take the accelerometer out, I take the black box out, the OSD out, and I mode on, and save and reboot. Then connect again, go to PID, go to PID, I put always put 58 for this quad, 58, 54, 22 here, the rate is up to 105, day 110. The Expo 225 tail this, two point more tail, two point more of tail, and save. Mode, I set this one to 9000 here, 1400 here, then save. Here I have Tranis, I'm gonna turn it on, and I'm gonna bind, so I press bind, I press and hold this button, and then I turn on the quad. Two lights should pop up, then that light should turn off. All right, there you go, done. All right, receiver, there you go. That, now I have to call this one tire, T-A-E-R. And then I'm gonna save it, and then it's fine. Let's check it, and boom. To check the quad if it works, you have all of this to do just left and right. If the quad does it, it means that it's fine. Left and right, left and right. Done. I'm gonna put the props on. All right, let's see if it works. All right. And there you go.
fast. Looks really cool, guys. So this is done. I made it in half an hour, I think. 25 minutes, half an hour. It's amazing. Okay guys, if you like this video and you want different video like this ones, don't forget to smash the like button down below. And if you want to see other videos, comment down below what you want to see. And also share this one with your friends, do whatever you want. This is really, really important for me because I want to know what you guys want to see. So this was a very quick video about how to set up the Obi Wing quad. So it's a complete Obi Wing quad with motor, ESC and flight controllers. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.